Mile High Minute, number one podcast in the universe. Shout out the sponsor of today's video, 3 a.m. Water. Get that hydration for the go-getters. And today we got Jacob Campbell, man. Yes, sir. Uh, What's yeah. up, man? I appreciate you coming out, man. Yeah, glad so, to be here, man. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a long way to interview, man. I've been, been trying to set it up for a minute. I know, man. For a little while, man. But oh, yeah. I'm here. Yeah, we yeah, getting we it drive in. drive far as hell, but <laughs> yeah. it's okay. Oh, yeah. What, what part? Like, where'd you drive from? Uh, what area? Denver. I live by George. Oh, okay. George like George Wash High School? Yeah. Oh, okay, bet. Oh, That's okay. like South South Denver, right? Or, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. close to Aurora. Okay, yeah, but yeah. It's still Denver. Yeah, facts, facts. Oh, uh, yeah, so, man, let's just get into it. Born and raised in Denver? Yes, sir. Born and raised. And Born and raised. South Park, like I said. Yeah, I moved part, uh, pretty much all around, like, the cities of Denver. Yeah, um, facts. So just pretty much, but never really outside of it. Facts, mm -hmm. see. I've been, like, living in Denver before, but I've also lived up north and shit, just mm -hmm. kind of all around, too. But, yeah, um, for sure. Let's get into it. So, um, when did, like, you know, how'd you start getting into rap and shit, like? Uh, I started, well, I always liked music, and I started rapping just, like, with my bros freestyling when I was dumb young, like, and just to myself, really, like, yeah, yeah. in my room and shit, when I was, like, 9, 10, just mm -hmm. freestyling. I started writing music about 12, 13 years old. Okay. Um, I wasn't taking it too serious, but I just like got into writing music because uh, like, I was dealing with a lot in my life and like with my past, and I just felt like I had to get it out. So that's how I started writing music, just as like an outlet. And I was like, damn, I'm kind of nice. Let me, yeah, 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 <laughs> let me, yeah. Let me, I might have to run with this. And then, I mean, I recorded my first song when I was 14. And then, like I said, it wasn't serious, serious. Like, I wanted to do it. I knew I wanted to do it. Yeah. But I didn't know how. Like, so I was just rapping, but wasn't really. I was just throwing songs out there. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Whenever, but. Not taking it seriously. Nah, yeah. Yeah. Mostly just like, oh, uh, for my bros, like, this is hard. Yeah, yeah. Listen to this. So for fun kind of shit. <laughs> yeah. Like. But, it, like, I knew I wanted to rap. Like, okay. I knew I wanted to be a rapper. Yeah, I just yeah. didn't know how to go about it. So I was just in the studio recording, and then I just put it out that night. Like, oh, okay. no promotion. That's yeah, just yeah. like, oh, here like it is. Like on SoundCloud yeah. or some on shit? SoundCloud, yeah, yeah of course. It's <laughs> always SoundCloud, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how a lot of people start. But And then my senior year, maybe like end of my junior year, I was like, all right, I'm going to take this for real. Were you getting like some recognition and shit? Like, were you? Nah. nah but you I were just. Mean, I was getting like. A little bit. A little bit, but yeah, nothing yeah. crazy. Um, and then at the end of my senior year, uh, like that's probably when I had a good, I wouldn't say good notoriety, but kind of a little bit of recognition. Yeah, like yeah. I was doing some shows and stuff, and we was, it wasn't crazy though. I'm talking maybe 5,000 views at the most, yeah. maybe. About I mean, that time, you're like, damn. Yeah, I'm like, this yeah, is, yeah, I'm there. Sure. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, not, yeah, I'm yeah. him. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, like, Thanks. but, yeah, so it wasn't crazy, but it was, like, all right, this is, but it was this slowly growing, you feel yeah. me, and I was, like, and I just, I just love music, though, like, I just love rapping, so, Thanks. none of, like, I wasn't worried about the views or anything, like, I just love So, it's for rap. the love. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of people get that twisted, because, like, that's, I feel like when you really love something, like, that's when it, you actually become successful at it because you have that passion. You don't really care too much about... And I think about, it really is a big piece, especially yeah. in the music industry. Like, because if you don't love this, you're going to quit. Facts, Because facts, it's just hard, bro. Facts, like, facts. <laughs> like, you get discouraged, bro. But the only thing that kept me going, like, every time I'm like, I don't want to do this shit no more. It's like, I just love to rap. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love making music. So it's like, I'm not going to stop doing that. Period. So, like, that's the thing that really separates it. If you don't love it, you're going to eventually give up. Facts. Unless you blow like that, but... Cause this shit is a challenge, bro, and it takes a long time. So it's it like, takes a certain mindset. Exactly. Yeah. So if you don't love it, like you don't, what are you gonna fall back on? Like when nothing's going right, you feel me? You know, facts. That's facts, man. Yeah. Okay, so diving in a little more into like your childhood and shit. Like, did you have any other hobbies? Were you playing sports or anything like that growing yeah, up? Yeah, big hooper. Okay. I'm called. Hey, man. R.I.P. Kobe, man. I don't. R.I.P. to go, man. <laughs> For real. Man, I'm gonna keep it a bug, man. I'm the best hooper that raps, or the best rap, 
rapper that hoops. That's the moment. Okay, like, hell yeah, hell yeah. Anyone in the city, we could put up any amount oh, of bread. Oh, shit. Whoa, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> any rapper in the city that's watching this right now, put up with check, bruh. I'm busting your ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, we should set up a, a fucking like, little like Denver celebrity game or some shit. That would be hard. And everyone would get towards. <laughs> I'm talking to Trevor, too. Yeah, Trevor. Trev. Ridge. Yeah. I, I'll cross Trevor up, no okay. cap. <laughs> I guarantee I would. I used to hoop, too. I guarantee I would. For real? Yeah, yeah. Bruh, I'm telling you, bruh. That's why I be telling dudes. I can see you like, hooping, so I ain't going to say like, I cross you up, bro. Can you hoop? Oh, bro. Like, what, what can you do? Bro, I'm white. I can shoot, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? It's I'm white, bro. Yeah, I have yeah. a cannon. Facts. Hell yeah! What, what's the like the the drive game looking like though? You take it to the rack too? Of course, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like I'm an automatic three point shooter. Okay, I feel you. Everything else is cool. It ain't. And you tall too, so I mean you can shoot over people pretty. You feel pretty me? Easy. Yeah, yeah. I'm alright. Oh, you yeah. feel me? Oh, yeah. I'm not saying um oh I could have went to the league. Nah. Yeah, yeah. But any rapper that thinks he could hoop. I'll beat him. Okay, bet. <laughs> Wait, hell yeah. Were you like, was that like your first dream you would say? Before rap at all? For sure, for sure. Yeah. Like, just sports, period. I played football as well when I was a kid. I yeah. didn't play football in high school, though. Sports, but, yeah. Yeah, like, I think that's like Lucky Everybody's first love. Yeah, no, it is, for real, yeah. It was and, if you grow yeah. up around it, you yeah, feel facts. me? Like, my cousins, so I lived with my cousins and my brother and my mom, and so, like, they were older than me though, and they all play sports. So of yeah, course, yeah. I'm like, oh, I want to do that. Yeah, you know, so we was always playing. Oh so. uh, yeah. So you were talking about some adversity you faced growing yeah, up. Sir. Let's let's talk about that a little bit because I feel like that really molds character and makes you, you know, who the man who you are today. So yeah, talk about some instances that like really built you and you know you had to really overcome and keep fucking pushing and like just keep working. You know, yeah, what I'm saying? I done I done been through a lot in my life, like. um like number one i've been poor my whole life so mm -hmm. that's gonna always give you extra motivation Facts. you just yeah. want to take care of your loved ones and then um just to seeing a lot as a kid that kids shouldn't see like my dad was an alcoholic and mm -hmm. a drug addict and he used to put his hands on my mom and stuff so yeah just seeing stuff like that made me want to be better it made me want to just get us out of that situation. Facts. So, like, he left when I was about seven. And then, so he left for good. And like I said, I live with my cousin, so it was like 12 people in one house. Yeah, yeah. And so just trying to get everybody out of that situation. Facts. really what yeah. drives me. Especially my mom. Like, I didn't see my mom work three jobs at one time. So just seeing all of that just yeah. really makes me go hard as fuck. Facts. Like, harder than most people there's some, there's some shit to be said about that because like i know you i know it's tough but let me ask this do you ever regret anything you went through no no nah, okay yeah, so because like, it builds you right yeah, like and I yeah i get asked that a lot like, yeah do yeah you regret or like do you wish it was different as a kid i mean obviously when you're going through it like, you're like yeah what yeah do I got? and i'm i'm a firm believer in like everything happens for a reason Facts. so and like i've seen literally everything come full circle like yeah, yeah so i i don't like you said i don't regret anything i always just i like i said everything happens for a reason i see why god put me in those certain Facts. situations and in those circumstances yeah and that like you said molded me who i am now yeah it's literally why i started rapping so Facts. i guarantee you wouldn't be as big as you are now if you didn't go through that shit for I real guarantee it like, no yeah for real like, no question so yeah. like you know, I'm I'm glad. I see why I've went yeah, through yeah. everything now. Um, I mean, it takes some time, but I guarantee you, like, if you're going through something, you're going to realize when you get out of it, like, why you had to do that. Hell yeah. That's inspiring as fuck, bro. For real. I appreciate I you opening up, man. life, bro. Yeah. Like, everything happens for a reason, bro. I swear. Facts. Facts. So... You brought up that your wife, you know, from hooping earlier. So talk about like some of the adversity, you know, being a white rapper because, like, people yeah. gonna talk their shit, you know hey, what I'm saying? Always, like, bro. obviously you you can spit, but like, just talk about some of the, some like the things you feel like. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's double standards for every race. So you know, being a white rapper, obviously, just talk about some of the things that you feel like you kind of have to 
uh, face or like work harder or like, you know what I'm saying? Just some of the stereotypes you got to face being white and rapping and shit. Yeah, I think... I think it's there's pros and cons to it Facts. for sure. Facts. Um, I think everybody always focuses on the cons. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when they're white rappers, like, oh, this is <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. no, there's some good things about it. Um, the con, of course, is gonna be like before you start rapping, yeah, automatically people are gonna think you're trash. Yeah, so it's yeah. like same with if you walk on the court. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> so you yeah. gotta you gotta prove yep. yourself. You Facts. feel me? But the pro is, and we can say the same thing with hooping. Yeah. You feel me? The pro is when you do something good or you actually are talented, it hits even harder. Right. Like, well, so it's like if a black dude was to windmill, everybody's like, oh, that's nice. A white dude, <laughs> knows the best, they're like, oh, this What's is so crazy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So right. I, that's, the, I, that's how I look at it. Like, you know. Mm-hmm. You got to prove people wrong, and you got to be nice, you know, because you're going to be doubted every time Period. as a white rapper. But once you, like, show that you're actually talented, it hits a little hard, like, damn, because they didn't expect it. No, yeah, that's fact. It's always unexpected. That's some so. real shit. And I like that you look at the pros, because you can always, you know, glass half full, half empty, you exactly. know what I'm saying? You I could always look at like, it. oh, they didn't <laughs> sleep on me because I'm white. Yeah, yeah. Right, like. Get over it. <laughs> no, nah, for real. Yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. You know, that's how I like, bro. Hell oh, yeah. Get over it, bro. Like, who were some of the rappers you were listening to growing up that inspired you and shit? Three. Fifty Cent. Number okay. one. Fifty Cent. Lil Wayne. Hey, Lil Wayne. Everyone, man. He's a go. Good. Yeah, he's bro. A good. Just dropped the album. Inspired. <laughs> yup. Last night. Number three, Andre Three Thousand. My Hell favorite yeah. rapper. Hell yeah. Wait, he's your favorite? That's my favorite all time. Hell yeah, bro. Wayne in the close second. Man, all three of them were low key just tied. They're, all of them. They all get really deep and like lyrical and shit, too. Exactly. So, yeah. I feel like I gained something from each of them. My music doesn't really sound like theirs, but like. I feel like I gained, like, or what I think I've gained is... Yeah, you have a unique sound for sure. Yes. But I can but see the inspiration. Though. Like, I say, like, my bars and my punchlines, like, I got that from Wayne. Like, I wanted to rap that good, like, mm-hmm. punch that good. Yeah. Flow is, like, I tried to inspire my flow after Andre. And then just being real and gritty. Hell yeah. 50. Hell know, yeah, yeah. he's just real. Thanks. Oh uh, yeah. So let's dive into um, some of your more like recent accomplishments. Um, I seen you on that Chicago interview, that that uh, radio interview. That was tight. How'd that all come together? Uh, shout out my guy Jamal Smalls. Um, he's a DJ over there. Um, and I had before I got on a Netflix show. I had met him out. Yeah, yeah. Go. It's actually when I was auditioning for it, but I had met okay. him out there just on some random because my manager like knows him so uh you manage it from here um i have three managers oh shit um, two are from here one is from chicago damn mm-hmm. so people taking you serious man for real hey man it's about time <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hell yeah it's about time Hell yeah. but yeah so that getting on the radio over there was dope though um i had showed him my music before the netflix stuff and he like really vibed with it and liked it a lot and then we just stayed in contact and then they had like a screening of the show when it premiered out there and he just oh, yeah. felt like it'd be the right move to bring me up there to do the interview but he always playing my music up there so that's I, hard oh yeah really, like it's in rotation so i really salute to him up there man. it's in rotation in chicago in chicago man better get in denver rotation in denver up. yeah denver up, man. On, no man. for real what the hell man but hey all right so you brought up the rhythm and flow like i was talking to saxon he was saying like he kind of filled out like uh like an application before like everyone else applied was it kind of the same shit with you or like how did you kind of come into the show like like i said everything happens for a reason Facts. mine's way different than everybody's hell yeah um so what happened i went to atlanta i did a show out there shout out atlanta we, we just went there too that shit was turning i fuck with atlanta yeah <laughs> atlanta go hard I for real with atlanta. yeah but yeah uh, so i went out there i did a show out there this was about a year like a year and some change ago, October, yeah. October. Yeah, so a minute ago for sure. 2018, yeah. And, um, yeah, October 2018, I went out there to this show. And I had met with this uh, this label or whatever. Um, I was playing in my music. And he liked it a lot, whatever. Long story short, bro hits me on 
and we met with him on Sunday, bro. He hits me the next day. You want to be on TV? <laughs> Hell yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Hell yeah. I didn't even know what he was, what it was, what yeah, he was talking yeah. about. I said, hell yeah. And so he was friends with uh, Jesse Collins, who was the creator of the show. Mm -hmm. um, but I still had the audition. Um, so not the chance audition, like the one that y'all seen. I had to go to Chicago beforehand. Oh, okay. I didn't even know. So like how Saxton said, like, yeah. I, we didn't, I didn't know what it was for. I didn't know the name of the show. I didn't know the judges, nothing. I just went out there and rapped like two songs. Then they kind of interviewed me in front of like the cast and directors. Hell yeah. And then a few months later, they called me like, come to Chicago and do your audition for another chance. And then I was like, Man. Oh, pet. yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah, and then they sent me the beats and all the beats were trash. <laughs> Hell yeah. And made it happen man that's hard bro yeah it was a what, blessing for sure what was like when when was like the recording process and all that shit and then when did it dry drop the end of 2019 like mm -hmm. so when, that was like um pretty much i think my chicago audition was my chicago audition was like december 2018 oh shit okay and then we shot the show like february in 2019. Okay, so you probably just waiting for that shit to come out, huh? You were getting hyped. Oh, of course, man. Yeah, we yeah. couldn't tell no one, man. We had oh, damn. a contract sign. Like, we told somebody that would take us off the show, but... Damn, damn that must have been hard to... Well, I mean, obviously easy to keep in when you sign a contract, but I bet you're just sitting there like, fuck. Like, Bro, like, y'all yeah. don't know. Yeah, y'all don't know. Y'all yeah, don't yeah. know what I'm on. Yeah, 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 like, for a whole year, like, just waiting for it and just trying to get ready for it, like... That's hard, prepare but it gave you a bunch of time to prepare for sure. Exactly, so uh, yeah. that's all we was trying to do. Like, I brought, I dropped a project, um, like when the show dropped. So yeah, yeah. I just was getting ready for stuff like that. Facts. Oh yeah. So, um, damn, what was it? What's it like seeing yourself on Netflix and shit, like chilling with the females, whatever? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> See, I have a bar like that when we Netflix and chill. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. um... <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, it's surreal, bro. Like, mm -hmm. the whole shit it was just surreal. The whole experience. But, like, the craziest part to me and my favorite part of all is, like, that I got to put my mom on there. Like, Hell yeah, bro. Like, I got to put her on TV. Like, that shit made me so proud. And, like, That's love, that bro. shit meant a lot, bro. Like, more than me being on TV, more than me rapping, I'm like, bro. Hell yeah. I put my mom on TV, bro. Hell yeah. You think you should have made it further on the show? For sure. Yeah, talk about that cypher part. I feel like they kind of did you, like... Oh, the battle. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they ain't even really show what really happened. Yeah. yeah. Like, TV is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Saxon was saying the stuff. same shit. They yeah. don't really show, like... Like, the editing makes it way different. So, like, it, that was a crazy thing to watch it, too. Like, yeah, yeah. show what they... Like, see what they showed and what they didn't. You went crazy, though, on that cypher, for real. I, f I fucked with it. Bruh. Man, <laughs> my battle verse is hard, bro, but, yeah. you know, shout out Troy, man, he's nice, you feel me, he ain't, he ain't come trash, you feel me? Yeah, but facts, facts. I, yeah, I feel like I had a better verse, but, yeah. I, the only thing I'm mad about, I'm not even mad I lost in a battle, like, the only thing I'm mad about is I didn't get to go in the studio. Yeah, like, yeah. If I would've got to make a song, it would've been, been crazy, over, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? That's, that's the only thing I'm mad about, you feel me? I didn't even know we was going to battle. We didn't know none of the challenges. Like, they was letting us know the day of. Hell yeah. And that was, like, the most challenging part. Like, they'll tell us, like, oh, you're battling this guy. You got literally 10. Or, well, they'll say a day. Like, a day to write your verse and remember it and perform it. Like, yeah, yeah. that's just tough, bro. Like, people was acting like, that's shit easy, bro. Like, you got a whole day to write a whole verse about someone you don't know. <laughs> Literally, yeah. I met him a week ago. You feel me? Write a whole battle verse about it, remember it, and perform in front of three of the biggest stars in the world. Yeah, like that's just tough, that, bro. Like that would've been hard as fuck. What'd you learn from it though? Like, what's the most you learned from that show and shit? I literally just learned just to literally stay true to yourself. Like, cause I see a lot of like people just be different, mm -hmm. and like I don't know. Like, I feel like individuality means so much especially in rap and just music period and then on top of that what I learned really is just 
you know, be prepared, man. You got to be yeah. prepared. Like, you don't never know what's going to happen. And just, like, it just showed me a lot. And it, like, helped me realize, like, where I want to go. And, like, prepared. it prepared me now for, like, them type of stages. Like, Facts. I don't really get nervous like that no more because yeah, I haven't yeah. seen that shit. You feel me? Facts. So, it's like, I yeah. can do whatever now. <laughs> how, how was the headline show? Do you think you were a little like, were, I'm sure you, there might have been a little nervous, but I bet just because of that moment, you were already like kind of ready for it. You were like, like, the thing with me, like when I, with my shows, like only time I get like nervous is like literally right before right I walk before, out, yeah. maybe like a few minutes before. But that's just because like. That's I, everyone I feel like. I like, like everyone's asked me the day before, week before, like you nervous? Hell no, nah, like. But that's because, like, I practice, like, mm -hmm. a lot, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. I rehearse my shows, like, day in, day out. Like, rehearse my shows, like, literally top to bottom. So, like, it's like when you it's when you repetition and you really practice it a lot, it's like you ain't really that nervous no more because it's, Facts. like, it's second nature. Yeah. So. And I feel like once you sink into it, like, I don't know, I'm sure for the show, like, once you get, like, 30 seconds a minute into the performance you're like alright I'm out I'm in this bitch let's yeah, go yeah you just like, gotta get the, the yeah, yeah. Out, especially, especially on the show like yeah 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 like even that first performance I was nervous as hell I ain't even gonna lie like, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. audition I was like damn this is crazy but yeah like once I hit the stage like literally I just didn't it's feel over. nothing I was like I'm good hell you yeah me, so so like looking back on it like do people walk around kind of notice you like how like what's it like now like sure. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit crazy, bro. Like it's just a blessing, bro. Like, like insane. It's a it's a crazy blessing. Oh yeah. Like it grew my fan base like crazy. Shout out to all my fans. Facts. I didn't notice all the time. This shit be funny. Bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it be funny cause like I be forgetting. Mm -hmm. Like oh fuck, I was on TV. Yeah, yeah. People be like staring at me all the time. I just be like, or they be like. You look familiar, and I'm like, uh, like yeah, on yeah. TV. That's why. But yeah, <laughs> it'd be yeah. funny though. Like I was just in LA last week, and I got noticed a ton out there, and that shit was crazy. That's hard. Yeah. Hell yeah. What you doing in LA? I know Trevor was out there too. Was for the Grammys? Or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, I was yeah. out there for the Grammy week. Yeah. Hell yeah. It was cool though. So Trevor's food though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He didn't link up with me. Oh damn. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, but it's all, nah, that's my guy though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we was both, both hella busy, so. Hell yeah. Nah, he be working out there. I, I seen him in the studio with Jeezy and shit. Fucking. Shout out, bro. He's going crazy. Yeah. Like, that's all the things. Like, that's why I be trying to tell people, like, when I be traveling, like, shit, not a vacation, bro. Like, I'll be Facts. crazy. Bro. Facts. Working, bro. Like, Facts. That's that's a big difference, bro. Like people be thinking I'm just out here living, like no, nah. I'm really out here, like working, working, like Period. yeah. So it's even like I was on tour, I uh, opened up for Rex Life Raj a few months ago on his tour. Mm -hmm. That shit was dope, man. Just like seeing people in other states, like knowing the words to my shit, like yeah, yeah, it's just crazy. That is crazy, and yeah, like. Of course, it's a little fun when you're out of state, but you got to get that networking in, bro. Especially when you go to a place like L.A. or Atlanta, Chicago, when you're in the rap scene. Like, exactly. You got to get that networking in for sure. And that's really, like, a big part of this. And that's why I feel like people fail to realize, like, sadly, sadly, it's like talent is only a small part of it now. Facts. Like, it's really, it's who you know. And mm -hmm. like you said, you got to just network. You got to be able to do that. And I've had to learn how to do that, bro, like within these last year or two. Like just traveling and just getting out yeah. there. Showing the face. You've been rapping for a minute, but like it seems like this past year you've been going crazy. Like Man, this last past working. year been crazy, man. Like <laughs> Denver as a whole too, bro. Talk about Let's talk about Denver for a little bit. Let's like, talk about it. Like... Why the fuck, like, I don't know, bro. I feel like people are still sleeping, but it's like, I just see it coming up. Like, I feel like with, you know, Trev Rich and the Grammy, Kayla Ray, Rachel Bailey, AP, you and uh, Saxon, like, mm -hmm. like, you got all these fucking people just making moves, like, serious moves, too, like, really putting on for the city and shit. Like, mm -hmm. let's talk about it. Like, what, well, from your perspective, are you seeing, like, the, the glow up, too, and shit? Like, like crazy, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. I think. Not even our thing. Like this year is gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Like 
And the thing, I think it's finally, and this is why I was talking with somebody about this the other day. Like, I think it's finally becoming like a community. Um, when Facts. I first started rapping, it was more real ego driven. Mm -hmm. and like, Everyone wanted to be top yeah, dog. Everybody yeah. wanted to be number one. I mean, like you said earlier, like with, you know, obviously deep down everybody wants attention, but yeah. I mean, deep down everybody wants to be number one. Yeah. But it's like, it's so much, it used to be so much hate around it. Like, that no one was you're coming succeeding, together. bro, I don't like you. Yeah, yeah. Because that's not, because I'm not. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like, hate always breeds from jealousy. Like, Facts. that's what I said. Like, I feel like hate just really breeds from jealousy. But I feel like now it's really like people is finally coming together, mm -hmm. really trying to work and like really like applauding each other. That's really what we lacked. And yeah, yeah. Like, because it was just so competitive for no reason. Like, yeah, yeah. No one's made it. Why, yeah, are all, yeah, yeah. why are we all mad at each other? Yeah, like, for real, no yeah, one's yeah. done it. But that comes from no one doing it because everybody wanted to be the first one to do it. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I put a, the city on, you feel me? Yeah. And you know, rightfully so, but I don't give a fuck who do it. You feel me? I'm Thanks. happy if it happened. Hell yeah. Because even if it's someone I do not fuck with, I don't like, mm -hmm. if they blow, that shines Good more light on me. Yeah, facts. You feel me? Like, facts. that's what people don't see either. Like, Denver, it just shines light on the whole city. Facts. Like, so. And the second if someone blows, that means there's like three, four, five people right behind them exactly, that ready to go. You know bro, what I'm saying? That's what people don't understand, man. Like, it gives you more of an opportunity. So, like, when people hate on me or feel like, oh, that I should have got that opportunity or this. Yeah, that, yeah. It's like, you could feel that way, bro. But, like, you seen me on the show. I'm talking about the city nonstop. Facts. Like, you were, Denver, too. Even Denver, on that Denver. Chicago Denver. interview, you were, you were repping Denver. I was like, like damn, bro, that's respect. Because like, a lot of people, I feel like, don't necessarily rep Denver like that. But I heard this shit bro. hard, bro. Like, yeah, you so do. So, I'm like, how can you sit here and hate? Like, bro, like, this is for the city, bro. Like. No one been on this scale, bro. Like, Facts. that's why it was so crazy, bro, to have two people on that Oh, show yeah, yeah. From Denver. Like, we that don't was get crazy. chances like that, bro. Like, and we don't helped. see shit like that. that shit so it's a lot. like, just slowly and surely, um, it's going to happen, bro. People are going to start looking in here. The more noise we make, bro, mm -hmm. like, it's that Period. simple. Like, we got a lot of talent. Like, that's never been the problem. You feel me? The problem has been two things. It's been the rappers itself yeah. and then the support system. But the support system isn't there because they haven't seen it happen yet. Facts, so facts, I feel like facts. I feel like people don't fully 100% get behind us because mm -hmm. they don't know if it could really happen. Yeah, yeah. So, like, they be like... They slowly yeah, start... But with, like, like you said, with the moves that everybody's making, yeah. I feel like people are starting to see, like, whoa, this could really... This could happen, this could yeah. This really happen. So they're starting to support more and more. And it's just gradually happening. We're uh, building and forming. <laughs> I meant to say forming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> forming a, a, a community and, like, actual, like, rap scene. Nowadays. And a sound, too, for and Denver. Sound, like we're trying to build a sound. And that's why I said earlier, like, with individuality, like, mm -hmm. that's another reason nothing was happening earlier. Mm -hmm. Especially when I started rapping or started, like, seeing people in the scene. I'm like everybody trying to sound like, like a different state. Yeah, yeah, because like because they feel like industry. that's gonna blow them up quicker. Like, oh, this is what they like. Yeah. But you look at all the people in the city right now that are at the top. They don't sound like nobody. Yeah, that's facts. But I feel like the the people that are making noise in the city, like everyone does have their own individuality. But I don't even know how to like speak. But I feel like we all kind of do have some of an accent in the rap. Like, like it in the sound, I really do. Like, I was listening to Ph Wax. Um, Lil Trell, Tr even Trevor Rich and you, like, mm -hmm. like everyone sounds different, but there's this, like, Denver, like, elongated sound. I can't really explain it. Like, it's, like, proper, like, mm -hmm. like, if you just really listen to, like, everyone, like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to. I've heard that, but I might have to, like, listen for that. Now, no, it's, though, like, it's, like, no one's really talked about it, but I'm slowly starting to notice it, even yeah. with some Aurora people. Like, there's that, this, like, elongated, like, it's hard to even really, like, get the words for it because it's so like unique but like it's like this elongated like i don't know you know like if you just listen to listen to ph wax little trail and, Tre and trevor Rich, obviously and you like you just really hear it like i don't know like this is denver it. sound that's like important. but that's dope though. yeah like yeah. even if you hear that like because like like you even said earlier like you don't 
you were saying I got my own sound. Like, I, like people always ask me, like, well, who do you who do you sound like or who you rap? Yeah, like? yeah. I don't really have an answer for you, bro. I rap like me. Facts. Like facts. Jagu Campbell, bro. That's yeah. And I'm glad, like, that I've developed that. Like, I that took time to even find my sound and like what I was trying to do. Like, that's what a lot of people like when I say don't put the work in, bro. They don't. They're not that serious, bro. Like I Period. took like a year and a half, bro. Like after I graduated, when I found my managers, I deleted all of my music, everything I had. Damn. And then I literally deleted everything. And you started I from scratch. Started from scratch. A year and a half, I didn't drop anything, and I that was one of the most frustrating times of my life. Mm -hmm. Cause in my head, <clears throat> I'm like, bro, what am I doing? I'm just wasting time. Mm -hmm. But. I was in the studio constantly working, constantly. And now my music is a million times better than it was. Yeah, like, yeah. I see the payoff just sitting in there working and actually mm -hmm. developing my sound with my managers and with producers and really just putting that time in. My music got a hundred times better. And I don't regret that shit at all. Like, you know how hard it was to delete all my music, bro? Yeah, I couldn't even I imagine like, that. I couldn't even imagine bro, that. Like, no. I couldn't do that. I, if I was making music, like, I couldn't delete our old videos out of shit. <laughs> I don't think I could. Bro, it was tough, bro. Yeah. Like, it was tough, bro. But, like, it was worth it. Yeah, hey, man. To each their own, for sure. But, um, I mean, I didn't even delete our own videos, but we actually did have an old YouTube channel. And, like, our first, like, five to ten interviews got deleted. But, like, we went and redid a bunch with the same people and shit, so it was whatever. But yeah. it wasn't me on purpose, so no, it's whole different, to look though. back on, though, too. Like, oh, yeah. We used it as motivation. Like, like people really thought they was going to stop us. Or <laughs> yeah, for sure, bro. That's how you got to do yeah, it. Like, yeah, I'll fact. be back on my old music all the time and be laughing. Like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. this was hard. For real. It sucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but at the time, I'm as like yeah, yeah. a kid, bro, I'm like, this is crazy. Like, I'm going crazy. Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> like, it's hard. I don't know. Yeah, that's just well. funny. Like, even my voice developed like crazy. Like, mm -hmm. uh, so just everything. Hell yeah. But speaking on that, um, <clears throat> that jealousy shit you were talking about a little earlier, and why you think like we weren't doing as good before, it's crazy you say that because I was just talking to my boy last night. He was like, um. He's a boxer, and uh, one of his homies, like, won something that he didn't, or some shit like that along those lines. And he was, bro, like, I was happy for him, but I ain't gonna lie, I was kind of jealous. And, like, I don't even, like, want to feel like a hater, but I want to um, I wanna be successful. And I was kind of jealous, bro. I was telling him, I was like, I'm gonna be real with you, bro. I feel like we all, deep down, like, you can't 100% ignore envy and jealousy. I feel like it's just natural to yeah. an extent. But... I feel like as you get older and you become more successful, you start to realize that you got to show love when people are successful. You got to be happy for them because that means that you're um, you're manifesting that positive energy yourself. You know what I'm saying? When you're hating on someone that's successful or you're, you know, talking down on them, that means that you're insecure inside and you're just pushing negative energy on yourself. Like that's, you're showing the universe, hey, I don't want to be successful when you're hating on someone for successful. Sure. Like, I you know what like I'm saying? So I think that's important. You get what you give, bro. Like you show love, you gonna get it back, bro. Like period. people fuck with me cause I'm a genuine person, bro. Like I'm period. not like, bro, I'm just a genuine person, bro. Yeah. Like, simple as that. Um, I don't have no time to hate on anybody, bro. Like I apply Fact. everybody, bro. And like, <coughs> Here, do you want another water? Yeah, yeah I got you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, 3 a.m. This is your sponsor. Yep. Hit them up, bro. I bet they you know, tap in with you. That's dope. Oh, uh, yeah. They're from here. That's hard. I'll take that one for you. Yeah, man. My fuck. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, what was he talking about? Uh, okay. We're talking about the, nah, the jealousy man. shit. Shout out the sponsor of today's video, 3AM Water. Shout out 3AM Water. <laughs> hit my line. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> sponsor my tour. No, for real. They probably would too. But yeah, so, um, no, nah, for real. We, um, so, like I said, just like. You really get what you give, and, mm -hmm. like, if you give out love, it's going to come back to you. It's just, it reciprocates. And then another thing, like, with you feeling like, oh, like, he got that opportunity. Like, mm -hmm. I should have had that. Yeah, or I yeah. deserve that. Or I'm better than him. Why Why not me? Facts. What I've learned, like, 
if it's not for you, if it's it's not for you, yeah, bro, like facts. You know, like you never know what whatever's meant future. to be will be. Yeah, literally, whatever's meant to happen is gonna happen for you, bro. So like, that's what I've learned, and that's what helped me to not get angry in those situations. Like, mm -hmm. especially before all this, like, of course I was mad because I felt like I was better than other people, and I'm like, fuck, bro, like, yeah, yeah. I don't got the fan base they do or this yeah, and that. Yeah. Why don't people fuck with me? Like, you gotta obviously get mad, like, Thanks. fuck, like, if, you, if you're if you putting in the work and you feel like, like, nothing's happening, but you just gotta grind through that Thanks. shit, bro, like, and like yeah. I said, like, what's meant to happen, what's gonna happen, and if it's not for you, it's not for you. Hell yeah, and, um, even for example, like, so, as Maha Mini, like, we've definitely worked with some pretty mainstream artists, but we also are, like, really heavy with the underground shit. Yeah. Sometimes to the point where, like, People like you and Saxon kind of, like, pass our radar sometimes. Like, y'all were already, you know, popping in the city and shit. Had way more followers than a lot of people we were already fucking with. Yeah. But honestly, like, we were sleeping on y'all for a minute. And I can say that as a man. I'm not even going to lie. We were sleeping. Bring it up, so I'm glad <laughs> yeah, you got yeah. no, <laughs> Like, we were sleeping. I didn't even know. I'm going to be honest because I don't watch Netflix, bro. I don't, and, but, um... Mm -hmm. And then, like, you know, people keep telling me, like, fuck with Jacob, fuck with Zach. So I'm like, all right, well, who's, like, why, why is everyone talking about these people? Like, how do I not know who they are? And then yeah. I looked up, I was like, oh, shit, like, these, they doing numbers, bro. Like, tell me why we were sleeping. So, and it's important because you didn't show, you never showed no hate. You were never, like, dissing on us or anything. But a lot of people, like, would get upset. I seen when the list came Yeah, out. yeah, I'm sure you <laughs> did. I'm sure you did. And we were sleeping. And, um... And we posted that that new one right before, um, that was like right before, I had heard y'all, but I wasn't like really tapped in with the music yet. For sure. And then I actually added y'all in the list like on the um, the description because I was like, fuck, like we fucked up, we forgot that. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Hey, but the next good. list, um, well, we do y'all definitely going to be in it. And we ain't fucking, um, but it's true, like, <clears throat> it's um, people going to sleep and, uh. And yeah, that's you can't the thing, hate, bro. you just like, gotta you keep get working. Mad, bro. Like, music is a subjective thing, number one. Period. Like, it's super subjective. Like, Facts. not everybody gonna like your shit. Facts. And you can't get mad if people are like, you know, they don't fuck with it. But, yeah, yeah. Um, and then another thing, like, even before the Netflix shit, like, I was doing good numbers, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. One of my songs was at like 50,000. Hell me? yeah. Before Netflix. That's bigger than a lot of Colorado artists. Exactly. So, yeah. like, that was a blessing, number one. But, like, I'm not going to get upset. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, like, you feel me? I see hella people get mad at it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was laughing, bro. That shit was funny as hell. That shit was crazy, though. Like, and Trev was just telling me things. <laughs> like, <laughs> Trev reached low key. Like, he was like, bro, if they make a list. They ever make you number one? Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, yeah, Trev was getting. He made that song, um, oh, but no. people were clowning. Even on that last one we did uh, with the Nuggets, I don't know if you seen that one. Mm. Um, fucking people were still hating on Trev, and I'm like, I don't, I don't even respond to. It. I'm like, damn, y'all are just envious. But it's like, I, he, you might not like his music, but show love for what he's done for the city. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, Same yeah, goes for you, yeah, like, bro, like that's another thing. Like I do, I respect about Trev even before I met him or even yeah. spoke to him. Is like he was like me. Like it's for the city. You feel me? He was never. He really be putting yeah, on for the city. He say Denver, Denver, Denver. Like he really rep it. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Not a lot of people do like you said. Or yeah. as hard as as I do. Facts. I am gonna call Trev Rich real quick though. You better stop posting them Facebook statuses talking about media pages in Colorado. Cause there's definitely some media pages we hear, man. I'm telling you. But no, shout out Trevor. Talk, talk, <laughs> shit. talk shit, bro. <laughs> no, I'm fucking with it though. <laughs> I, I kind of like I like using it to our advantage. Like if he posts a shit like that, I post it on Instagram. Be like, all right, what do people got to say? But it's all love. He knows it's all love. Like you know, we we so. we uh we ran an interview. We be talking sometimes, so it's it's all love for sure. But yeah. I just had to call him out real quick, let him know. Yeah. It's never like yeah, like it's never not anger. Bro. Yeah, like, yeah. That's the thing. Like I just like like I just said earlier, if yeah. it's not for you, it's not for you, bro. Like, I don't know. I don't know why people got so mad. At yeah, me. yeah. I respect it though, cause like I feel like he almost says it just to kind of motivate us, mm -hmm. and maybe not even just us in particular, but like people in Denver like hey we need some bigger media platforms because we still ain't shit I ain't even gonna lie like mm -hmm. we've made some moves but I'm not even like one pre like I'm not even like 
content at all with where we're at. Like, it's not so, even like. But you should never really settle or be content. You period. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's all about growth, bro. Like that's what I've learned, and like you know, celebrate the small wins, but Facts. continue to grind. Keep leveling bro. Like, up. That's for all sure. it is, bro. Like for I sure. feel like a lot of people will get trapped or get caught up in in small wins. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying don't celebrate them. Like yeah, but. Keep, keep your working, eyes set yep. on what you yeah. really want. Yeah. Don't get caught up in like a little thing that's going good, you know, because that's, you can't let that hinder what Facts. you're trying to like do. Like you just on Netflix, I'm sure you were hyped about it, but now you're like, all right, like I need to, I need to hit hundred K million views. You exactly. know what I'm saying? You're like, I'm, like you gotta, yeah. you gotta want more. And I feel like a lot of people, if they was on TV, they just would bask in that. Like, Facts. oh, I'm on TV. Oh, yeah, I yeah. did it. It's like, bro, yeah. Well, what's I next? Shit, bro. Facts. I ain't get paid for that shit. Facts. <laughs> you know I, mean? Facts. I need money. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's all about the growth, though. That's what I've learned. But it's like keep growing. It's a gradual thing. Period, man. man. That's some real shit, though. Like you really like. It's important to celebrate the little wins, but you really gotta like, like never be content. Gotta stay focused and keep grinding. Because I've seen so many people fizzle out it, it, in this city alone. Not even just mm-hmm. like the industry and shit. In this city alone, there's a bunch of people. Even since we started that I was really fucking with that I'm just seeing fizzle the fuck out and I'm like, damn, like it really happens, bro. Like, I don't know what happens or like why, but it do happen, bro. Like yeah. even, like you said, even in the city, like with smaller artists, bro, like my I was just on the phone like an hour ago with one of my best friends and he was like, Damn he raps too, his mm-hmm. name Cameron. He's called as fuck. Oh yeah. Um he uh I was just on the phone with bro and he was like Damn, like, cause we all used to rap in high school. He was like, "Damn, bro, like, you lucky the last man standing." Cause For everybody real. just like slowly. And you just hit your first him. like peak. I feel exactly. like exactly. So you finna keep going, like exactly, bro. Like I just didn't quit. That's Fact. all. That's what separates me from everybody, bro. Mm-hmm. Like I just never gave up, bro. Cause Three. I knew, like I said, number one, I just love music and love making it. And I just knew I could do it, bro. Like, deep down. Like, I always knew I'd be here. Like, uh, yeah. nobody thought I would, but I always knew Fact. it. Like, so I wasn't ever tripping, you feel me? Obviously, times I'm like, I would get discouraged. Like, maybe not. But deep down, I knew, like, you feel me? I had like, this was meant for you. Like, yeah, and this true. was meant for me. And you, and you loved it, like you said from the beginning. So Exactly. All right. Well, since we've been talking about the city so much, I want to talk about this bar that you just dropped and that blessed up with Trevridge. Go watch that um, video. I'll link you in the description. Hey, yeah, yeah. Jacob Kell featured Trev Ridge. Hell Blessed yeah. up. Out everywhere. Was that your first time working together? Uh, that song was, yeah. Hell yeah, that's hard. But you said, see the city in a drought, so I stepped up. I'm going to make these people proud and respect us, man. Talk about that. I, I felt, I was like, damn, that's some bars. That's deep because, like, Denver needs, that's that type of shit. Like, I seen uh, Ransty share this morning, like, like, that's the type of shit that, uh, you know, like, Denver needs to see and hear so that we can all, like, you know, exactly. comfort each other and come together and fucking, like, push that's this what shit. That's I'm saying, like, man. Like, talk about I that thought boy, maybe like, some people might take it away, but, like, nah, I really looked at the scene like, bro, y'all ain't on there. Like, yeah, so yeah. I stepped, I stepped <laughs> yeah. up, bro. Like, Thanks. I'm going to make it happen either way, you feel me? We were in a drought for a minute there, for real. In a drought, bro. Like, nothing was happening, bro. Like, you know, so... And I just felt like, like just with that bar alone, um, that's why I put Trev on it. I felt like he was the only one that really fit what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah. Like people finna respect us. Exactly, bro. and exactly, bro. Like we don't get no respect, bro. I Fuck go out in no. these other states, bro, and I Fuck go to no. these meetings, bro. They be like, "Where are you from?" Damn. You a rapper from Denver? Yeah, for I ain't real. never heard of that. They be shit, like, bro. "Oh, you ain't snowboarding out there? You keep some Patagonia, like, <laughs> like, bro." <laughs> I tell you, bro, the biggest misconception. I've never been snowboarding in my fucking life, bro. I'm like, they be like, oh, y'all be skiing and snowboarding. Bro, I said, bro, I'm poor, bro. I've For real, never there's some trenches out here and people don't even know. Like, uh, exactly. So they, they just don't see it as that. So like yeah. I say, I'm gonna make the people respect this either way. And they go on it. I feel like. Like you said, it's pros and cons to it. And I feel like that's the type of shit that's been making the city come up recently because, like, um, I feel like people in Denver, just, especially when it comes to this rap and this music scene, like, got this extra chip on their shoulder where they feel like, like, all right, keep overlooking us. Like, we don't, you know, keep showing y'all, keep bringing this heat. You know what I'm saying? So, and uh, Trevor, like I said earlier, being nominated for a Grammy, fucking, 
you and Saxon, fucking AP hitting 100K on a music video with wins going crazy. Uh, Kayla Ray sound like she's about to be the next fucking Rihanna or some shit. I don't even know. Yeah, she's going crazy. And Rachel Bailey, too. They're both of them. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Yeah, I see. Actually, Rachel was at my show. That was the first time I had met her. She good. That's hard. Hell yeah. She's nice. um, There's a fucking... um, a bunch of underground people out here too that I'll are making you, good bro, shit. Yeah. I mean, I'm just like, oh, my guys, man. Yeah. Y'all need to listen to Ty Lib, Lover Boy Ty Lib. Okay. Fire. I don't want to miss nobody. Maybe I shouldn't do this because people. No, I do. I want to hear it so I can, <laughs> I can look them up. But that's yeah. how that's what people be saying every time they're like, "Hey, cut out the shout outs because I miss someone." <laughs> Lover Boy Ty Lib, David Bonds, Cameron, Cameron Johnson, Shh, crazy. Those three are crazy. Oh, yeah. um, Majid Abdullah, he's crazy. I'm about to miss some people. <laughs> man. man, just tap in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Them four for sure is crazy. I don't want to miss nobody. Hold on. We're going to have to redo this. <laughs> <laughs> you good, you good. Who else you trying to work with from Denver, though? Who am I trying to work with, man? <sighs> Who have I not worked with? Um... Honestly, bro, like, I'm I'm willing to work with everybody. Like, if I fuck with you, yeah. Um, number one, I fuck with your music, gotta be nice. Number two, it's really like a, a chemistry thing and like mm-hmm. a vibe thing. Facts. Um, Cause you could be good, bro. We could still make a trash song. <laughs> yeah, facts. If facts. we're not yeah. like vibing really and shit. vibing in the stew, so that's it's really an energy thing with me. Mm-hmm. Um, with collabs. Um, but I've been working with some people, man. Um, y'all gonna find out soon, but... <laughs> oh, damn, no, you ain't gonna get no sneak peek? <laughs> None of that? I ain't gonna do it, but <laughs> I'm in the studio. Hey, you and AP would sound hard on the track, for real. I think so, too. Um, you and I, AP? I haven't even really... Uh, he was at my show, but... Hell, yeah. That was the first time I ever met, bro, even talking oh, to Oh, for real? That's hard. Damn, I feel bad now fucking slacked on the, the show. I feel bad, bro. My shit was crazy, bro. I seen that. Yeah, you headlined, man. You headlined that shit. First headline. Sold out. Yeah. You got another place, show coming? Yeah, what's the plans for 2020? You got any shows, like projects, Shh. tapes dropping? Like, so what's 2020, man. So we just bled, dropped Blessed Step. Mm-hmm. I'm going to hit y'all with some more singles, too, um, here soon. And then... Um, we're gonna do a little tour around Colorado. And some oh, yeah. shows probably around um, April, May. So, okay, bet. Like Grand Junction, Springs, Fort Collins, all of that. Oh, that's hard. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. So I can't miss out on that one. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm back in You can't, bro. No. My shows are crazy, bro. Yeah. This uh, Saxton was there too. My damn, God. everyone was there. Bro, <laughs> Saxton was there. That's my guy. He pulled up too. He don't yeah. never go out. No, he don't ever. <laughs> Jesus, that's funny. Fucking, um, I was shocked he even came in for an interview. Shout out, bro. Oh, yeah, he was all up. yeah, that one's about to drop soon. Shout out, bro. He's oh, okay, like, that's dope. Yeah, um, that's my guy. Yeah, he's fucking. a good person, bro. Like, for hell real, yeah. So, hell yeah. But, um, like, but see, that's the craziest thing about Denver, bro. Like, I didn't even know who he was until I've seen him on the set of the Rhythm and Flow, bro. Like, yeah, I didn't know either. Like, he was already 100-some followers until I found 100 whatever bro, K followers yeah, talking about who he was. Like, even before the show, he had a video that hit a million views. Yeah, the perils. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm walking in. I'm talking to somebody when I'm walking into the set on Rhythm and Flow. I'm talking to somebody who, another contestant. I was like, man, y'all, you from L.A.? Like, you lucky you got other people out here. Like mm-hmm. from your city, it's like ain't nobody here from Denver. They're like that guy over there is. <laughs> and In this business, <laughs> <somewhere>. <laughs> no, I, yeah. so I literally like he was around the corner though. Yeah. So in my head, I'm like, who the fuck am I about to see? You thinking maybe like I'm thinking AP somebody or some I shit? know? Like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, I turn the corner, this guy's in a suit. I'm like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> like, you from Denver? I could just imagine that shit. I just be go and talk that. to bro, but it's all love, bro. We mm-hmm. just, just laughing. He was like, no, I'm from Denver, this and that. So he went to TJ yeah. and shit. I'm Park like, Hill. Yeah. Hell so yeah. that shit was funny, though. But for sure. You know, That's hard. Hell yeah. Fucking. 
Hey man, I'll buy a ticket. You just gotta plug us in with that media so I can get some. Bro, I'll do that. Music. No question, bro. Yeah. I'll get you in for the free, bro. If you was trying to come last Thursday, I got you in, bro. Damn. All right, well, for sure be there. I'll for sure be there. You, whenever it comes out, just. Y'all missed out, yeah, man. Yeah, we slacking, bro. If we you sleeping. was not there, I promise you, you missed out. My show go crazy. Man, yeah. I take pride in that, bro. Like, like my stage presence, like I, like I said, I rehearse, I work hard on it, so. Hell yeah. Just to make sure I'm ready, like. Well, I appreciate you still fucking with us and letting us do this interview, and I'm glad we got to meet and shit, for hey, sure. Hey, man, I should have yeah. said, fuck no. <laughs> hey, you ain't put me on the list. Fuck you. That's what I should have <laughs> I should have hey, DM'd you that. Someone tried to charge us to be on, to do an interview, and I was like, I, I mean, we paid for interviews before, like, with, like, celebrities and shit, but, mm -hmm. like, Someone from Colorado was trying to charge us. I was like, I mean, I could respect it, you know. I can't, hate. Yeah. but I couldn't. I wouldn't have, like. But yeah. I respect you for respecting us still, though, and you definitely gonna be on the next list, hundred percent for sure, hey, man. For sure, for sure. Whatever you feel, man. Oh, hey, yeah. don't feel forced. No, no, no. But it ain't even forced because the numbers are there. Like, yeah, the numbers sure. are there. Like, and I shouldn't have been sleeping. Hey, but should have yeah, been more tuned. But you know, Facts. it's all for the same, bro. I ain't mad. Like, you know, yeah. with this um. Like, that's what this song is about, bro. This Blessed Us song, bro. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get the city behind us, bro. Like, Hell yeah. Not even rappers, like, just the support, bro. So, like, I just felt like me and Trav getting on a song is, like, going crazy. That, yeah. You feel me? And it came out crazy. Yeah. And we got another one, too. Hell yeah. Yeah, I want to see what, one with AP, Kayla Ray, fucking... I don't know. I'm trying to think who else would be on your vibe type shit out here. I don't know. I think those two are like the real ones, like Trevor H, AP, Kayla Ray. Like, I could really see you doing a good song with. Sure. I mean, there's some underground people, but I feel like, um, which you could make a song with, but I feel like, like you said, it's, it all has to do with chemistry. Yeah, that's um, a big thing. I feel like people don't realize, too. Yeah, yeah. Like, when they be hitting me, like, a person I fuck with personally. Um, and we've never been in a studio, um, like DNA. DNA, yo. Like, Facts, I fuck with DNA. Personally, so like, we actually was just there the other night for the first time, but like, that's just the thing, bro. Like, and I really just fuck with like who I fuck with. Mm -hmm. So like, I have, I don't do a lot of collaborations. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, I really don't. I appreciate you coming in. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't do yeah. a lot of features music wise. And it's not on, the, and like, I feel like people take it the wrong way. But it's like, like I said, bro, I got to really like fuck with your vibe mm -hmm. and your music. Two things, like, so. And I'm just so used to like my circle. Um, yeah, yeah. That I just work with. Grew up with. Like, it, and grew up with. with. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, be hard to branch out, bro, because like, I don't want to like do a song with somebody and have to tell them like no nah, your verse ain't it. just ain't yeah it. Like, ain't it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's yeah. why i'm like real selective and oh, like yeah. i said with the chemistry thing like bro if i'm in the studio i'm just not fucking with your vibe like mama walk out yeah you know? yeah and like people will take that the wrong way but it's just like you know music is a very you know beautiful thing and it Fact. can be so it just if it's done right you feel me so mm -hmm. the funny thing is <laughs> i give y'all a funny story yeah, man. Here, man. <laughs> like the funny thing is trev when he was on the way to the studio he didn't know he was doing a song with me no no and so <laughs> long story short was he finna link up with someone else to do a song or what? <laughs> long story short he's he knows my manager yeah yeah and my manager hit him like I need a verse, but my manager calls me Jake. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of people do, but um, <laughs> but he thought my manager was saying Jay, so he just was thought he was just doing a favor for my manager. Mm -hmm. And then they're on the way over there. Bro was like, some some with Jacob's platform. Bro was like, Jacob Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> and then bro was like. Fuck, I gotta really rap. <laughs> yeah, that's hard. Hell yeah. Yeah, but it he's was all funny, damn. Bro. I gotta actually try. Hell he yeah. He didn't even know he was gonna do it. Dude. We locked in and made that song quick as fuck. But hell yeah. So no, yeah, I seen y'all on uh, Twitter like before you dropped the song, um, like wow. kind of previewing it and shit. Yeah, I was like, oh shit. Mad as hell, cause I ain't put the sound on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was mad as hell. That shit funny as fuck, bro. Shout out Trevor Rich though, for real. He really, he really out here. He's been doing it for a minute, like. 
like people were saying he fell off and shit. And then what did he do? He come back Grammy, Grammy nominee, fucking um, on that Spider Verse and all that. Like, man, yeah, for sure. Shout out, man. shout out you for coming up too, man. Like, came up, bro. Yeah. Came up. Like I said, no one thought I'd be here, bro. For here real. Nobody was checking for me, bro. Like, mm-hmm. none of these dudes. Not even Trev, bro. Like, nobody. You feel me? So. Yeah. But, hey. It's happening. That's why we're doing this interview, too. For yeah. sure. Hell take yeah. turn. I'm not mad. I don't harbor no resentment, Facts. bro. Like, Facts. I could literally be like, bro, I'm not doing a feature with you. <laughs> yeah. Because I was rapping a year ago. Yeah. You didn't like it. Or yeah. you didn't reach out to me, bro. Like, yeah. I just... Bro, like I said, I'm all for it if it mm-hmm. works. That's all it Facts. matters. Like, it has to make sense. Mm-hmm. That's really all it is. That's the best way to put it, bro. Like, Facts. if it makes sense, let's do it. Yeah. And like you said, you could easily turn down the interview, too, and be like, no. I'm to the interview. <laughs> bro, like, y'all didn't ask me a year ago. Like, yeah, bro, yeah. I don't think people realize, like, the position they're at, though. Like, yeah. bro, like, and, like, that's another thing with rappers here, and that's another problem. Is people have egos, mm-hmm. but they ain't done nothing to have an ego. Why yeah. do you have an ego, bro? Yeah, You're you got to work. Famous, yeah, bro. yeah. You haven't done anything. Facts. I could walk around here and be like, bitch, I'm on Netflix. Bitch, I'm on <laughs> TV. And like, act a whole asshole. And bro. then people are going to be like, what the fuck? Exactly. Bro. For what? Like yeah, I yeah. said, bro, people like me because I'm genuine, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't facts. act no type of way. I'm a regular ass person, bro. Yeah, That's yeah. why I be laughing when people. Like, random people come up to me and notice me. Yeah. Or, like, want pictures, this and that. I just be laughing because in my head, I'm like, well, I'm just a regular ass Yeah, dude. no, for real. <laughs> and I feel like a lot of people would get that misconstrued, too. Is like, um, sometimes we we will work with, like, a bigger artist, and they'll treat us like, what the fuck? I'm all hot in it. Like, yeah. <clears throat> but then I think, I'm like, damn, like, this person is just is another human, bro, at the end of the day. Like, it really is, though, like... What you're saying is facts. Like, people, <clears throat> big artists, big Chance, Cardi B, you know, whoever. Um, yeah, obviously, they got a huge presence and, like, you know, you, they've built fame, money, and all that. And, like, same with you with um, your music and shit like that. But at the end of the day, we're all fucking equal. So yeah. you got to treat these people like like people. You know what I'm saying? That's really all it yeah, is, like, bro. Facts. Like, you feel me? I don't know. It's like, you know, it's still cool to be a fan. Yeah, yeah, for I'm sure. But if I see Andre 3000, I'll lose fact, it, bro. Fact. Like, because no, he was fact. such a big part of my childhood. You feel me? So, it's not a bad thing, but I just be laughing. Because I'm like, real like, it just be crazy because I'm not used to it. Yeah, yeah. The first time I got recognized, it was in New York, bro. In New York? In, yeah, because I was in New York when the show dropped. Like, oh, okay. the first day. I was out there in New York. And, um... <laughs> like the show had just came out so I had never really I've been used to this yeah. this bitch lost her mind when she seen me bro I'm in like oh a, in love huh? <laughs> I, bro I'm in a restaurant bro hell yeah I'm just like on the wall bro mm-hmm. posted a girl walks past me she goes <gasps> I'm like I look at my manager, <laughs> I look at my manager I'm like the fuck is wrong with her yeah yeah and I'm like oh I'm on TV <laughs> <laughs> But it's like, so it's just stuff like that be funny, bro. But yeah. I love, I love it, bro. Like it makes me feel so good. You feel me? No, like, yeah. Just getting recognized for just what I'm doing, bro. Like, Hell yeah. I, I appreciate all that shit, bro. Like people don't understand. Like all that little stuff, bro. Like means a lot, bro. Like every Fact. DM, every share, bro. Every person who's at my show, bro. All that Hell shit yeah. means a lot, bro. Like for real. Oh yeah. So Jacob Campbell, like, so is that your real name? What made you yes, not come sir. up with some, like, random-ass rap name like everyone? Like, why were you like, fuck it, I'm gonna just be me? When I first started, I was trying to think of one, and none of them were cold. They are all trash. Yeah. So I was like, and then on top of that, I was just like, you know, I don't want to hide behind no name, you feel mm-hmm. me? Like, because my music is so real and, like, no filter or anything. I just talk about my life. So I'm like, why would I not just go by my by my name? And then on top of that, my real name is actually spelled with a K, mm-hmm. not a C. Like it's actually spelled J A K O B. Okay. So I'm like, that's unique in its own way. Yeah, you yeah. Me? So just ran with that. Hell yeah, that's hard though. There's some real shit behind that. All right, so are you still independent? 
I am still independent. Yes. Okay, do you like what? What's like a certain uh, dollar amount you would need to sign a record deal, or do you just want to stay independent? Um, my dream or goal is a partnership. Okay. So I don't if. You know, I don't sign. I mean, I'm not just opposed to signing to a label. Mm -hmm. But it has to make sense, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm not taking no shit 360 deal, bro. No 360, exactly. No. I've been hit up about a 360 before. Really? Like, yeah, like, that's just not... I'm not, like, stupid, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. You feel me? I'll play the long game, bro. If it takes longer for me to blow up, I'd rather do it the right way, though. Facts. So, my, what I want is a partnership with a major and starting my own label. Hell yeah. Um, seventh University, you feel me? Okay. Got it right here. What's the idea behind that? Seventh University. Hell so, yeah. uh, seven, I like to do everything in sevens. I'm a real spiritual person. Oh, okay. And I feel like that's, well, I don't feel like that is, but it is, it's God's number. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm a real spiritual person, so that's where the seven comes from. And then the university really is like, you professor or what? <laughs> well, so like, yeah, let's yeah. say I do start the label and I bring people under the wing, mm -hmm. you feel me? And I sign people to my oh, label. Okay. It's like, yeah, yeah. In the university. You young yeah. Too. Hell yeah. yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Okay, so, um, what is, like, just finish this shit out, man. What's like one peak? Because damn. It's already been over an hour. This shit crazy. This is a legendary interview for it's real. It's been an hour damn. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> it did not feel like it. Yeah. I was damn. Fuck. For real. But um, what's one piece of advice, man, you have for all the people out there, all the artists, rappers, entrepreneurs out there chasing their dreams, man? I'll give you two pe two two things, man. That Let's hear it. Literally, period. Number one, be yourself. Like, Dude. be you. Don't try to be anyone else, bro. Like, you n nobody wants to copy anything, bro. It's not going to last long, bro, or it's not going to do anything. So, mm -hmm. that's what... Just be authentic and be yourself, bro. Like, don't be scared to be yourself. That's what I had to learn, too. Like, that's why I'm here and where I'm at now. Because mm -hmm. I'm just me. Number two, just don't give up, bro. Like, shit is hard, bro. Life's hard. Life's hard. For real. You feel me? Like, yeah. Life is hard, bro. But live like what I live by is that I, it could always be worse. I promise you. Period. Always it always worse. can no be. No matter you're right, how you're bad right. you think your situation is, there's someone I worse. I promise you, someone's going through something way worse. Period. So my mom don't, always don't told me that. Don't ever give up. Like right. don't ever give up. Be yourself, man. Feel me? Hell yeah. <laughs> scared to be you, man. Hell don't yeah. Be scared to be you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, the name and the, the sound, everything speaks for itself, man. You're definitely being you. Yes, sir. And my mom always told me that shit, too. Someone, somewhere is always going through some words. So I be grateful. You. Be for grateful, real. bruh. Facts. Hey, man. It's the Maha Minute. Shout out to the sponsor today's video, 3 a.m. Water. Make sure y'all go get that hydration for the go getters. For the go getters. Yep. Make sure y'all go I follow. I was to say, that's hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought you came up with that. You thought I came up with that? Yeah, hey, but yeah, oh, shout yeah. out there, man. It's Jacob Campbell, man. Yep. J A K O B. Spell it right, E D. Yeah. Blessed up out right now. All platforms, Facts. man. Tune in. We're going up, man. It's for the city. Hell yeah. Make sure y'all go follow him on Instagram. <laughs> Twitters, uh, Jacob Campbell Seven, man, facts. everywhere, yep. everywhere. J A K O B, spell it right. You dig? Yep. All SoundCloud, YouTube, yes, Spotify sir. too. You on Spotify? Everything. Everywhere. Yep. You can find music. Facts. I promise you, I'm there. Hell yeah! All links will be in the description, so make sure y'all go follow him. Check everything out. Uh, make sure y'all hit that like button. Comment down below who you want to see next on the Maha Minute. And shit, man, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button to stay notified. And yes, shit, sir. I think that's it, man. Maha Minute number one podcast love, in the universe. Love. We out. All love. Hell yeah, appreciate you, man.